So my name is Seth Beaches. I'm an endourologist at the University of California, San Diego, UCSD Health. And um, I'm going to be presenting some work looking at a uh, randomized controlled trial, looking at placement of a ureteral stent versus omission um, in patients undergoing ureteroscopy for uncomplicated stones. I'm Dr. Grace Biggs. I'm the Director of Pelvic Health at Griffin Hospital and I work in a region of Connecticut that has high stone disease. I think one exciting thing that came out is that we found no difference in 30-day complication rates between patients who had a stent placed versus those who had a stent omitted after ureteroscopy. One of the most common concerns for patients after stone surgery is stent pain. The AUA wants to highlight the ability to perform stone surgery without leaving a stent, maximizing patient comfort without compromising patient safety. So we're excited to expand this work and see what other factors may um, improve patient reported outcomes after ureteroscopy. We know emitting a stent and also perhaps the role of ureteral excess sheaths. The AUA is the source for urologic guidelines and recommendations. So it's exciting to provide emerging data that improves the health span of patients with urologic stone disease. Hi, my name is Bilal Chugtai. I'm a urologist from uh, Long Island, from Northwell Health, specializing in BPH. Uh, today I'm presenting on the butterfly uh, implant for BPH. When it comes to the butterfly implant, I think it's very exciting because we've got an implant where it's got vector forces that really spread lateral hypertrophy. So as a result, it opens up that prostatic channel. And what's really exciting is that this is a potential reversible therapy. Uh, so you don't lose anything when placing this implant. This work with butterfly is extraordinarily important. And the reason why is because this is a potential paradigm shift. We've always had medications and then some type of permanent procedure for the prostate. Now, when we talk about a novel implant like Butterfly, this is potentially a reversible therapy and changes the way that we approach this condition. So this is the ideal environment to share with our colleagues. Thanks for watching, but now an important disclaimer. The content of this video is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Viewers should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.